Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hannah Khan, and I'm excited to help welcome Ramadan this year uh, and introduce to you my brand new picture book, which is inspired by our holy book, the Quran. Uh, we know that the Quran is important to us all, all year long, but especially so during Ramadan, because this was the month in which the Quran was revealed to us for the very first time. And it's also a time of year where we spend extra uh, energy, reading the Qur'an, reciting the Qur'an, um, learning its message, and hopefully taking to heart uh, important things that we will keep with us for the rest of the year. When I was thinking of an idea for my newest picture book, I thought about many verses of the Qur'an that speak to me the most and are things I think about often. Uh, verses like, do good, for Allah loveth those who do good. Or, he is with you wherever you are, and Allah of what you do, seeing. And, and say, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Uh, in my research, I also found other verses that I didn't know as well. Like, we brought forth for you thereby gardens of palm trees and grapevines, in which for you are abundant fruits. Or I reconnected with verses like, repel evil with what is better. Then you will see the one who was once your enemy has become your dearest friend. And once I went through and picked out all the verses that I wanted to include in my book, uh, I went through and I simplified them uh, to very, very short messages, which you'll see in the book now, which is called Like the Moon Loves the Sky. And this is a book that was published by Chronicle Books, uh, the publisher of several of my other picture books, including uh, Night of the Moon, my very first Ramadan book, uh, golden domes and silver lanterns, and crescent moons and pointed minarets. And what I really appreciate about Chronicle is that they, they spend a lot of uh, time and attention on detail um, with beautiful art, beautiful paper, um, even nice covers with things like this beautiful shimmer on it uh, that looks almost like the glow of the moon. Uh, and they find the most incredible artists, including Safa Khan for this book, uh, someone who shares my last name but is not related to me. Uh, Safa lives in the UK and I haven't had the pleasure of meeting her yet. But I love her art and how she filled these pages with lush colors, lots of um, vibrant plants, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy how it turned out. I'm also really grateful to Imam Tariq El Gawari, who reviewed this for me as he has many of my picture books. So thank you, Imam Tariq, for your insights and your help. And I'm going to read it to you, and I hope you enjoy it. These are the end papers, which are also gorgeous. And I start with a dedication for my children and an author's note, which I'll read to you now. The phrase inshallah is something I say throughout my day when making any plan or wishing anything for the future from the most basic everyday intentions to my biggest dreams. It means if God wills it in Arabic and is something that Muslims around the globe hear from the moment they are born and are taught to express as they learn to speak. The phrase, however, goes beyond Muslims in popular culture and is today, learned, uh, is today used throughout the Arabic speaking world by people of many faiths to reflect the idea of a greater force or power beyond ourselves. It's a common theme found in other languages and cultures as well, such as ojala in Spanish or God willing in English. As a parent, my most frequent prayers and wishes are for my children. And the phrase inshallah is intertwined with each and every one. In uncertain times, it offers me comfort and strength. This book celebrates both the phrase and a mother's love and hopes for her child. Every line or wish in the book is inspired by the Quran the Muslim holy book, which offers guidelines on how to live a thoughtful and grounded life filled with fairness, charity, justice, and most of all, love. These are universal values that transcend any particular belief system, and I hope they will resonate with all readers. And I hope, inshallah, they will resonate with you as well. And I'm going to move closer so that you can see this gorgeous artwork by Safa Khan. Inshallah, you are all that is gentle and good. Inshallah, you feel safe like all children should.
Inshallah, you are kind to those most in need. Inshallah, you seek knowledge, reflect, and read. Inshallah, you stand strong like a tree with firm roots. Inshallah, you plant gardens filled with sweet fruits. Inshallah, you have faith that won't waver or bend. Inshallah, you reach out to make a new friend. Inshallah, you are thoughtful of plans that you make. Inshallah, you speak truth and work for its sake. Here we have these kids who've broken a flower pot with a ball and they're knocking on the door of the homeowner and have an apology note. Inshallah, you travel to thrilling new places. Inshallah, you count all your blessings and graces. Inshallah, you find wonder in birds as they fly. Inshallah, you are loved like the moon loves the sky. And that's the end. So, thank you for letting me share this with you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Ramadan. Uh, if you'd like to purchase this book for your family, you can find it at any local bookstores. Of course, they're closed right now, but you can support them through bookshop.org. Um, you can also find them at find this at on, online retailers. Um, and there's also a free downloadable poster, if you're interested, um, that you can find on my website. So if you go to hanahan.com and go to the Like the Moon Loves the Sky page, you'll just click on this, um, you'll find this as a free downloadable poster that you can decorate your home with or your room or your office or whatever you fancy. Um, but I hope you will um, share this with your friends and family um, this Ramadan and beyond. Uh, I'm so grateful to all of you who allow me into your homes every Ramadan and other times of the year through my books for your children. Um, thank you so much to everyone who posts beautiful pictures of Ramadan displays with my books, um, who write to me and send me lovely notes uh, expressing what these books mean to them and their families. Uh, I'm, I'm so, so grateful to all of you. Uh, and I'm looking forward to a beautiful Ramadan, even with this new challenge that we all face. Uh, inshallah, we'll find new ways to be connected and stay a strong community. Uh, and I wish you all the best uh, for a, a lovely and blessed and spiritual uh, and rich month. And um, may it be easy for all of us. And may we get through this together. And all, all my best wishes always and lots of love to everyone. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm.